so welcome friends <coughs> today we are going to discuss some problems on the topic i covered yesterday i have given few converses conversion all these conversion are listed here you can see from ethanol to acetylene acetaldehyde to formic acid and point to be noted without using any oxidizing agent acetaldehyde to formic acid you cannot you cannot use any oxidizing agent directly third one is acetone to benzene next for acetone to acetylene the fifth problem is propane to all to methyl bromide and again propane to all to methyl acetate sixth problem is asking for the conversion of ethyl chloride to ethyl iodide and seventh problem ethanol to ethyl iodide eighth problem is ethanol to ethyl fluoride only eight eight problems only eight nine conversions are given here i solved all these things first of all you can do one thing you can write down all these problems in your note in your paper and you can solve it on your own after that you will verify it uh, in the video whether you are correct or wrong so the solution now go for the solution ethanol to acetylene you can <coughs> go for iodoform reaction ethanol undergoes iodoform reaction to form iodoform iodoform reacts with silver dust in uh, presence of heat to form acetylene this is a very popular reaction in of class 11 this is the great uh, preparatory method of acetylene from iodoform second one is acetyl acetaldehyde to formic acid without using any oxidizing agent acetaldehyde reacts with chlorine in presence of NaOH to form chloroform and it produces formic sodium formate salt of sodium uh, salt of formic acid that means sodium formate as a byproduct then you can separate for sodium formate from the mixture after that sodium formate is acidified is acidified with dilute H2SO well, you can use dilute H2SO also it's a dilute HCl to form formic acid so acetaldehyde to form acetyl to form sodium formate by using haloform reaction uh, in class 11 i think um, all of you have gone through haloform reaction if you have not gone through i'll i'll make a video today itself um, on only haloform reaction you can verify the mechanism you can you can recapitulate the reaction once again um, but uh, I, I, here i am using haloform reaction to for to prepare acetyl uh, forming acid from acetaldehyde without using any oxidizing agent. the pro third problem acetone to benzene acetone to benzene iodoform reaction is a very easy reaction but it is a uh, it is a very um, it is a very important reaction for you can see that uh, and there is lots of use of haloform reaction you can use this reaction in different cases in case of distinguishing to different compounds in case of transformation from one compound to another a variety of uses are there of, of iodoform reaction that's why it's very important and you can find in each and every reaction at least a single question are coming from iodoform reaction directly or indirectly definitely you will have to use iodoform reaction in any type of exam related to any question so uh, next problem third problem acetone to benzene acetone um, under, uh, undergoes iodoform reaction we know as it is containing CH3CO group connected to a carbon that means methyl group so acetone reacts with iodine in presence of NaOH to form iodoform once again iodoform reacts with AG dust in uh, when heated when the mixture is heated iodoform mixture iodoform and uh, silver dust mixture is heated it will form acetylene and acetylene undergo polymerization reaction when this acetylene gas is passed through a hot cu tube to form benzene acetylene 
polymerases to benzene. When acetylene gas is passed through a hot CU tube, 3 moles of acetylene is required as you know it is very evident, it is very clear to you, 3 moles of acetylene polymerases to form benzene. Next problem, acetone to mesetylene. Uh, in order to prepare mesetylene, mesetylene is nothing but 135 trimethyl benzene. 135 trimethyl benzene. You can see in the third problem that we are we have we have prepared an aromatic compound from aliphatic one. In case of fourth one, that means acetone. To, if you want to prepare acetone as uh, mesetylene from acetone, you will have to follow the same path as, as above. Uh, you will have to prepare acetone to acetylene as I have done in the third problem. Then higher alkyne preparation to be done. Acetylene is allowed to react with one mole of sodamide in liquid ammonia medium and then the sodium acetylide so produced is allowed to react with methyl iodide. You know higher alkyne preparation acetylene reacts with sodamide in 1 mole in liquid ammonia medium then it is allowed to react with methyl iodide 1 mole to form propyne this one is propyne ch3c c triple bond ch ch3c triple bond ch propyne propyne polymerases in presence of cu when propyne is allowed to uh, pass through a hot copper tube it polymerizes 3 moles of propyne polymerases to form mesetyl 1 3 5 one three five one three five trimethyl benzene is known as mesetylene. Okay, let us move to that. The fifth problem is propanol propan two all to methyl bromide. Propan two all can um, uh, can prepare chloroform or iodoform. It, it can respond to iodoform reaction or chloroform reaction. That's why propanol reacts with chlorine in presence of NaOH to form chloroform. And sodium acetate is the sodium acetate. This one is sodium acetate, is the byproduct. This is a mixture. We can separate the mixture to form sodium acetate. Dilute acyl is added to form acetic acid. Here, from propan 2 to acetic acid is very, very simple. You are, we are using only aromatic reaction or haloform reaction or chloroform preparation reaction. Now, if you, if you use moist silver hydrox silver oxide acetic acid will form silver acetate acetic acid will form silver acetate then by using hans dicker reaction by using hans dicker reaction you can prepare c3 br this is a carbon uh, carbon diminishing reaction one carbon is vanished as co2 that's why you can you can prepare a compound one with with having le one carbon less than the parent carbon parent compound and in case of p problem another transformation is given that you will have to prepare propan uh, you prepare methyl acetate from propan 2 all so you will have to follow the same path to form silver acetate same path now you use bean bomb similar reaction as i uh, I, I i taught you yesterday i2 in C silver medium to form C3 C double C C3 that means methyl acetate by bean bomb simonary reaction. You will have to go through the beam from beam bomb simonary reaction or uh, and uh, and uh, and Hans Dicker reaction very carefully. The fifth problem is covering beam bomb simonary as well as Hans Dicker reaction. So it is very important. Most of the students make mistake. Okay, sixth problem. <coughs> Ethyl bromide to ethyl iodide. Ethyl bromide to ethyl iodide. Tell me, the name of the reaction is the name of the reaction is Finkelstein reaction. This reaction follows SN2 path. You know, seventh problem: ethanol to ethyl iodide. Ethanol to ethyl iodide. You have to think. Don't look at my solution. Please go through all these things first then first of all you will have to try on your own then go for the solution please it's my request 
to all my students ethanol to ethyl iodide you can you can use sulfuric chloride you can use thionyl chloride or pcl5 or pcl3 or npi2 to, to prepare the haloalkane from ethanol ethanol associated to it reacts with ethanol to form ethyl chloride now we can use fingal strand reaction to form ethyl iodide very simple very simple go for it ethanol to ethyl fluoride as you know all this what's reaction covered the preparation of it uh, fluoroalkanes ethanol once again reacts with SCL2 to form CH3 CH2Cl that means ethyl chloride now we use SF3 through Schwartz reaction you can prepare CH3 CH2F this is not Cl2 this is CH2 CH3 CH2F not Cl2 CH3 CH2F a different type of question is given most of the students most of the students make mistake in this case which one is more acidic CHCl3 or CHF3 there is a misconception among students that is that um, CHCl, uh, CHCl3 is less acidic than CHF3 as fluorine is highly electronegative that that means uh, it is their thinking that hydrogen is H plus ion proton is liberated by CHF3 more efficiently because of minor strong minus I effect of fluorine but the case is totally different you will have to think in a different way CHCl3 produces CCl3 minus as the conjugate base and CHF3 produces CF3 minus as the conjugate base but CCl3 minus and CF3 minus are almost same anion you can think that minus I effect of fluorine is greater than C chlorine so CF3 minus is stronger than CCl3 minus but the, the case is not the not same See, this minus this anion this pair of electron is uh, uh, under uh, undergoing resonance with the vacuum in the vacuum d orbital of chlorine thereby forming p pi d pi bond that means this anion CCl3 minus anion is getting stabilized through resonance but CF3 minus ion is getting stability only through only through what minus i effect of fluorine that's why we can conclude that ccl3 minus is highly stable compared to the shape that of cf3 minus that means ccl3 minus is the conjugate base of ccl3 ccl3 minus is more stable so ccl3 will show better acidity than chf3 that's all today practice as much as possible practice at least these problems you can practice different types of problems i will give you more thank you very much ask me question in comment box or you can ask me through mail or whatsapp you i'm requesting one thing more please share these things with any of your friends because they need it thank you very much